You recently made a trip to Africa. Yes, my first trip. Yes, mm -hmm. beautiful. Uh, before we talk about that trip, I just want to um, um, give a background, a little background, that um, uh, your organization is um, uh, partnering yes. with um, somebody who, uh, you know, a priest from who originally, you know, came from Nigeria yes, to yes. Uh, set up a library yes. in Nigeria. Yes. So um, what I want to ask now is what informed your decision to uh, undertake this project? Well, yes, that's right. Uh, and the Catholic Assistance Mission, of which I'm the, uh, a director, um, got involved with this library through uh, uh, our associate pastor, Father, uh, Father Nassau. And he came to us and he explained to us the need in, in his community. Um, and and uh, God directed me and said, yes, this is what you should do. And, and without hesitation, I was caught up in, in the vision of Father Nassau for, for these people. God has always asked me to, to serve his people wherever, wherever he calls me, and that's, that's been my goal. He, he, he calls me, and, and like Abraham, I always like to say, ready, Lord, and, yes. and, we, and we, uh, <laughs> we go forward from there. Uh, yeah, I, I caught that fire from, uh, from my associate pastor, and, and uh, we're going forward with that. Great, great. And then um, you made a trip to Nigeria with them. Yes. Um, that was your first trip to Africa. Yes. And um, would you want to share with us your your feelings before you left? Were you a little bit nervous? Well, uh, yes. Again, this is, was my first trip uh, to the African continent, to Nigeria. And uh, quite frankly, I tell you that um, uh, people in the States were, were making me a little bit nervous. They had some some misgivings about uh, what I would experience in, in Africa and telling me to be careful. and and this and that, it was a dangerous place, and that uh, I, I would have some problems there. So that was my, you know, th that in the back of my mind, these are the things that are going through my mind, what my expectations would be. However, uh, my, my, the reality of it was totally different, 100, 180 degrees different than, than wow. what people were. <laughs> Literally 180 degrees. Yes, we're glad to hear that. Yes. You know, when I came to the United States, you know, I had my, um, um, I had my, um, 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 you know, stereotypes. Yes. Of, uh, of America, right? And um, I wasn't so disappointed, but I was surprised. Yes. You know, because it wasn't exactly what I thought. I didn't know there was that much vegetation mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you know, <laughs> undeveloped land mm -hmm. in America. Yeah. A lot of people actually think that you know there are no bushes in America. It's all tar <laughs> streets, yes, and, right? You know, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, gravels on the uh, you know, you know, landscape everywhere, mm -hmm. beautifully. So. Um, when you got to Africa, what was the very first um, hour? Okay, let's say when you got to Abuja, mm -hmm. which is the capital of Nigeria, what was the um, most um, uh, you know aspect of your stereotype of Africa that was affected? Well, the, the stereotype that, that I, I had in my mind uh, about uh, Africa was that it was um, all bush. That it was very it would be primitive, and, and people would be uh, living in grass huts and, and, and uh, that that kind of thing. And the, my first impression was, the first thing I noticed was the welcome. Uh, Nigerians are very welcoming. The second thing, and I, I mentioned this to uh, Father Nassau, that we stayed in a hotel in Abuja, and I, I remember that first night I had, to, I had to remind myself, no, I'm not in New York, I'm actually <laughs> in, <laughs> in Nigeria. I mean, the, the hotel was, the amenities were, were very nice. Everything that you would inspect in, in, in a modern, a uh, Western hotel where we're well, able to meet. Yeah, so, yes. And it was a five-star hotel, I understand. Yes, it was uh, <laughs> very nice. Everything yeah, that, modest. everything, yes. Mm. yes. Yeah, so um, now, um, you, I mean, you talked about the people. Let's talk about this a little bit more. Uh, you had to make a lot of uh, contact because um, you had to, um, uh, you, know, get a, you know, have uh, land assigned for this yes. project mm -hmm. and a whole lot of other things, you know. Yes. Um, how did it go? How did you... Uh, you know, encountering those people. Do you think uh, there's a lot of um, red tapeism and uh, stuff like that, bureaucracy? Well, I'm sure that there's, I'm sure there's bureaucracy there. Uh, again, uh, wherever we went, we experienced that that welcome. I experienced that welcome personally, and and, and that that made a, a deep impression on me. But one of uh, uh, our goals on this trip was to make sure that the the people of, of this of this community were going to be behind this project, um, and. From our first meeting uh, with, with the folks there, uh, we were convinced, I was convinced, that they were serious about this project. They, they understood the need. They understood uh, uh, a little bit about our vision, uh, and they got behind it 100% in the fact that they, they donated that, that land 
approximately an acre and a half, I would say, of land for, specifically for this library. So wow. that to me is a big commitment. So I, yeah. And especially since we won't have an opportunity to be there on a day-to-day on a -day basis with the construction and with the, with the, with the project as it goes forward, uh, it's important to us that we know that, that the folks in, in Nigeria in that area in that community are going to be supporting that. And I can, they're 100% behind it. And I'm, I'm convinced of that and I'm, I'm very happy. Yes. Oh, that's that's fine. You know, uh, this is a library project, yes. and um, now you you were there for a while, a two, week or two, two weeks. weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. Yes. Yes. Um. So you um, saw a lot of other things about these communities mm -hmm. um, in Africa. Um. What do you think? You know. Are you know the basic needs of uh, the people of the communities that you visited? Well, one of the impressions I uh, a, a striking impression I had. Uh, of the people that we met, and which was uh, one of the things that I enjoyed most about the fact that I was able to uh, get involved in conversations with, with people. They didn't exclude me. Okay. The fact that I was a foreigner, they, they made a point of make, including me in, in, in discussions and conversations, and they, would, they wanted my feedback as, as to my, my uh, uh, thoughts on, on, on the situation in Nigeria. But uh, the, the con one of the thoughts I had was that um, Nigeria is a land of impatience and promise. There's so much promise in that land, and, and, and the people there are, are anxious to, to take advantage of all, all, that, all that promise to, to improve their lives and lives of their families. And, uh, but not, di not disregarding the, the fact that the, the family is most important to them. They, yes. that's, that, that's another, another image that, that struck me. Everyone was, was uh, connected. You see that connect the connectedness and uh, some of the things that um, I, I long for in, in our culture. I, I'd like to bring some of those some of those uh, uh, aspects to our own culture here, of, of that sense of family, that sense of community, that sense of, of working together and getting things done that, that sometimes we lack here in, in, in our Western culture. We're also uh, concerned with how we're going to do, how it's gonna, I'm going to impact a situation. Well, really, it's a community effort, so I, 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 uh, I brought that back with me. And I, I, yes, you know, so, uh, so you think Africans should um, you know, take it uh, one day at a time Yes. With, um, 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 okay, let's 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 talk about Nigeria specifically, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to be like forty-seven years of nationhood yes. uh, in right. October this year. Mm -hmm. You think mm -hmm. uh, it's still uh, you know pretty young, yes. uh, you know, country, and you know still has a long time to um, to get things together. Right, and I, I can understand that impatience. Uh, uh, I I remember that a conversation we had about the United States, its its own progress when, when yeah. it became independent two hundred years ago. They didn't have all all the mass communication. They didn't have all the the input of the rest of the world, so they had an opportunity to slowly develop that country. Okay. Um, in Nigeria, uh, Nigerians can see what the promise leads to, what the promise of that country is to the rest of the world, uh, and they're impatient for that. They've waited a, a long time, and, and, and I can understand that, that uh, impatience. So they, they, they need the, the four things that we have in the U.S. that uh, sometimes countries lack is we have space, power, voice, and choice. That's right. In Nigeria, you have a lot of you have a lot of space. We got the space yes. too. Yes, the, the power is there too because the human resources right. and um, uh, natural resources, right. and they need to de develop the, the the voice and the choice. And the that's people right. have a, a, a voice in their in their in their government, and they have a choice in their government. That's that country will will, will blossom. I can I can see that. I, I can see that's like a in my mind's eye. I can see that like a flower. Wow. Blooming, yes. <laughs> I, and I can't wait for that. So yeah, we, we know, and I'm say, glad to be. Want to say amen to that? Yeah, amen. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I'm happy that Catholic Assistance Mission will be a part of that with this library. We, we, right. uh, Father Nassau's vision is a state-of-the-art library, so we're going to develop that. And, and, oh, and we, we, yes, we know that. Yeah, we are. We are, we are really so excited to hear this. And um, um, when when are you looking forward to be back there again? Well, you know, we, we plan. Uh, a definite, we don't have any definite plans. We know that. Uh, from our experience there, we know that we'll be back at least a couple of times to, to uh, oversee the project and, and, and the progress and, and uh, help make any decisions that need to be made and make sure that, that the reality of the library uh, matches our vision. So you can't do that unless you're actually physically on the ground. So over the next five years, I imagine, we'll, we'll be there a couple more times to make sure that that's And certainly I'm looking forward to the, the, uh, the, the ribbon-breaking ceremony in the library, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, but 